What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Anthem video and today we're going to take a look at the weapon system for Anthem and what we know about it so far going after E3 trailer and other sources. But before we go any further guys, if you guys are enjoying my Anthem videos and do want to see more, do smash that like button. Let's aim for 3000 likes. That would be absolutely amazing. Okay, so Anthem is a game I've done a few videos on already, and if you've missed them and do want to check them out, the playlist will be linked at the top of the video description. Okay, so weapons, obviously a big deal in an open world looter shooter. What do we know about them so far? What kind of weapons will there be? How many weapons can you hold at a single time? How many different varieties of weapons are there? How are weapons acquired? Will they be customizable? Today I will try and answer these very questions for you and a few more judging on what we've seen from the E3 trailer and learn from other sources. There isn't much to go on but there is definitely enough for us to speculate on. Okay, so the weapons we saw within the trailer are the shotgun which you guys can see on screen now. This shotgun has 12 bullets in a clip and it holds 72 in reserve. I'm not sure if that's a max reserve number though. We also see what I think is a sniper kind of scout rifle type of weapon seen also on screen now which holds 8 bullets in a clip and it has 170 plus bullets in reserve. Again, I'm not sure if that's a max reserve number though. Another weapon we see is the one the Colossus uses. Now we don't really get a great glimpse of the actual weapon. So to say what it is for sure would be really guessing. We see it firing for a few seconds. It's definitely some type of rifle in my opinion. But to put an exact name on the type of rifle it is, we can't do as the game's new. And we have no idea of weapon names, weapon types or whatever they are. Now the one weapon we do get a good look at though is the one rewarded for taking out a group of enemies. The weapon is called the Jura's Wrath and it's a legendary vault rifle. Now there are a few things to talk about while this is up on screen and the first thing is how this weapon was obtained. Now the weapon was obtained for the player in question taking out a group of enemies. In taking out that group of enemies she did a challenge called the Scar Ambush. Now I'm not saying this weapon was rewarded for doing this challenge. I actually think it was rewarded for them doing the mission they set out uh, to do when we went into this gameplay trailer. I think it was called Praxley's Workers. Freelancer. Praxley. Listen. There's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> I made a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. I know. They said they could handle it. The price was right. I thought maybe. Unbelievable. You're right. It was stupid. I'm sorry. But they're still out there. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. And it's this, in my opinion, these challenges, these quests, is how we obtain that juicy loot. And obviously there's going to be other ways for us to obtain weapons within the game. But that's how I do think this weapon was obtained. Another thing to mention here is the weapon's rarity. It states it's a legendary, which I think legendary is maybe the top rarity of weapon in this game. And here's why. So the colour code for this legendary weapon is a kind of an orangey colour. But notice the five triangles above the weapon's name, which also match the colour of this weapon's rarity. These five triangles, in my opinion, may represent five rarity weapons in Anthem. Common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Now, obviously, I could be wrong, and it could just be a coincidence, but I do have that feeling. We also get to see this weapon's stats, and interestingly, it compares them to the currently equipped weapon. When unlocking this new weapon, we see damage, accuracy, range, rate of fire, and ammo. This is obviously comparing this weapon, this newly unlocked weapon, to the last weapon we saw her use, which I believe was that scout sniper type weapon. Notice a damage, rate of fire, and ammo increase, while range and accuracy decreases. Also, I believe these are compared with percentages of some kind. And this weapon we see on screen now, the Jura's Wrath, won't hold 300 more bullets. We can actually see the Jura's Wrath being wielded by the Freelancer on screen now. We can see its ammo clip is a size of 60 and the weapon has 140 bullets in reserve. That number does add up to 300 but that really wouldn't make sense when the weapon stats are being compared. Another thing to mention here is the weapon on screen has a level. It states the Jura's Wrath is a level 35. Now does this mean our freelancers will have to be a level 35 to equip this weapon? Are there weapon levels you have to reach before you can actually apply them to your character? Does it mean weapons across the board will have levels which increase as your level increases? Maybe just maybe we can level up and customize them. That would be absolutely amazing. Now 
Now under customization, I think we actually see proof in this image. Look closely at the weapon she's holding, which is the Joe's Wrath. Notice it doesn't have the scope on it like the one we see on the right. Also notice the things on the front of the weapon. They are also missing to the weapon she's holding. Now I do believe weapon customization will be a thing, whether it's big or small. And maybe, just maybe, a weapon leveling system will be put in place to where we can rank our weapons, unlock new attachments and so forth, and carry our favourite weapons to the very end. That would be truly amazing. Okay, so we're going to move on and speculate a little more here. So what we saw in this gameplay trailer, it seems as though the freelancer we saw in action was holding two weapons, or only two weapons which we saw, the shotgun and the sniper slash scout type of weapon. But when picking up this new weapon, although it compares it to the currently equipped weapon, it doesn't suggest a swap or anything like that. So I'm thinking we may just have an inventory where we can pick up and choose weapons we have obtained and apply them to our character when we'd like to use them. Another thing to mention as well though is when she used a shotgun, the gameplay doesn't cut and the next weapon we see in her hands is the sniper rifle. We don't see a switch from the shotgun to the sniper, she just equips the sniper straight away. This leads me to believe we may have a kind of Gears of War weapon loadout system for what we can hold and use at a single time. In Gears you use the d-pad to equip weapons of choice. So let's say in Anthem you can have a shotgun assigned to the left directional button on the d-pad, a sniper assigned to the right directional button on the d-pad, maybe a heavy duty weapon assigned to the down button on the d-pad and a rifle type weapon to the up button on the d-pad. This obviously hasn't been proven or showcased and it is speculation but from what we see in the gameplay it does seem as though weapons may be assigned to certain buttons. Whether we can hold two, three, four, five, six at a time, who knows. Now all of what I've stated here is what I've learned from this actual gameplay trailer but I could be wrong as we all know this game's extremely new and not much is known about it at all. But with little research we do learn new things and together I think we can piece a lot of things together. And guys that is it for another Anthem video. If you enjoyed it I do have many more in the works so stay tuned for them. Let me know your opinions on the things I have stated down below in that comment section. If you have something interesting to add also which you don't think anyone else has noticed let us all know. But guys I hope you enjoyed this Anthem weapons video. I tried to go as in depth as I possibly could on what we know so far and what we've learnt so far and what we saw so far. So I hope you do appreciate that. Thanks as always for stopping by. Subscribe if Anthem is what you're interested in seeing and I will catch you on that next one. Always in the